That's, it's the 1st of November. It's about 20 to 10 in the morning. And I'm gonna drive around in a convertible. Welcome to the next gear show. So this is the Mini Cooper with the uh, British flag in the taillights, which I know is a contentious point over here, but it's actually part of the product over there. And in fairness, as branding goes, the Union Jack isn't actually a bad thing, but this one is slightly different. And I know it's November, today is the 1st of November, but this is actually a convertible car. And I'm gonna convert it right now. You can see the windows just drop down. The roof starts to peel back from the top. And then if you hold on the key long enough, the whole thing will start to lift up out of it. I'm gonna stand back a bit. I think I'm gonna have to hold the key down again. Is this the second time, here we go, here we go. There it goes, there it goes. So it's a full convertible. And you can do it from the keys, it's totally silent. You do end up with this bit sticking out the top here of the roof. And of course it's a cloth top, so it is a little bit colder in the morning when you get into the car. You see what Mindy's trying to do here, just starting out my cameras, in the cold. My fingers are so cold at the moment. It may not look like winter, but it is winter here. So what Mindy's trying to do here is capture the cute market. Uh, and I get it, I understand, Mini. Uh, but there are some bits in it that are budget priced, or at least budget feeling. And that kind of defeats the purpose of looking for a luxury fun car, but there is nothing else like a Mini for a bit of fun. That's how I put cameras in. Yeah, but the fun, like the fun is properly there in this Mini, as well as most other Minis. Uh, just starting out some cameras on windows so I can actually drive around with the car going. Uh, this is a proper fun car. It's, it's definitely properly fun. Uh, and I, I actually love this car. And my whole family loves this car. My kids are going, don't give it back, Daddy. Don't give it back. Why would you give it back to Mini? Because it's so cool. And it is cool. Super cool. Just got to get this camera fixed. And then we're in. Anyway, time now for a little spin, methinks. I think we're sorted on the camera front. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Let's go for a drive. So the more keen-eyed among you will have noticed that uh, I have my phone strapped to the windscreen on a holder. Nothing wrong with a holder on your windscreen, right? But the reason that's there is because there's nowhere else to put it in the car. It doesn't fit anywhere else. Uh, so I had to put it up in the windscreen. Second, there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto that I can find. I'm sorry, uh, I have roamed about in all the menus. I've seen it before on Mini, but it's not on this Mini. Now, I'm not going to let any of that distract me from how good this car is and how well sorted it is. Like I said, it's the 1st of November, and I'm barely feeling a breeze in on the back of my head. And there is a shield you can put up behind you here as well to shield out more of the uh, breeze on you. But it's actually okay because the, the heaters are doing their job here, keeping it running. You can convert this car at about 30 kilometers an hour or less uh, if you want to. The half roof opens at, at a, a, little, a tiny bit higher speed, but only half open. So just kind of roll back halfway. It is a cloth top, soft top, nothing wrong with that. Love a bit of soft top action me. Um, and on a day like today, which is not that hot or cold, uh, outside temperature currently is eight and a half degrees and a little touch of a sort of frostiness about it. Now, they're small, right? You're going to get your kids in. I brought the kids to school in this in this, this morning, you know? So you're definitely going to get the kids in it. Um, but for a long journey, it's not very comfortable on anybody. You can see how close I am to the dashboard here to make the kids fit in the back, because I'm six foot one, so I'm not a small guy by any means. But the kids do certainly fit in this car, for sure. Now that little engine out there does a good old job of hauling it around. Fuel tank's a bit small, fuel economy's not deadly, if I'm honest. I'm getting about seven liters per 100 kilometers out of this, so it's not exactly brilliant. But here we are at 100 kilometers an hour, uh, and we're trundling along now nicely. 
there's not much of a breeze. I mean, you can see the jacket's flapping around a bit. You might see my hair move a small bit, but the breeze is mostly in the back of my head here. Backseat passengers, they'll be blown to death at anything over 50. <laughs> 50 kilometers an hour, your backseat passengers are going to be blown out of it. So that doesn't work at all, but that's convertibles. Most convertibles are not four seats. Most of them are two seats. Has Mini done enough with this? I don't know. These little things on the dashboard, on the steering wheel here, the little plastic covers, a cover over the kind of turning the volume up and down stuff, they feel kind of low rent. The rest of the car feels good. I don't know why they changed these little plates out. They seem, they seem kind of budget. I don't know why. Everything else is so high quality. The, the knobs and dials all feel like they're supposed to be there. They all do a good job. The infotainment system is mildly confusing because there's this knob here in the middle that does, that does something. And then you might get the touchscreen element as well, so you can go ahead and touch screen. But there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is kind of annoying as well. And, and because that isn't there, it's not as intuitive as it should be, even though the whole thing is a touchscreen. Now, it is kind of cold, so what I'm going to do is pull over and put the roof up, and you can see what it's like with the roof engaged. Right. The roof is up. Reverse is over there. And we're off again. Now, strangely, on the mobile phone front, because I know this is all very important to a lot of you, uh, I've Bluetoothed it onto the mobile phone, so it's, it's got a Bluetooth connection, and it runs off the Bluetooth connection all the time, even though it's plugged into a USB port, but it seems to be only a charging port. I can't seem to figure out if that's a data port. It doesn't seem to do anything. Weird, huh? I and mean, this is it with the roof up. It's very warm in here with the roof up, can I point out, just in case you were wondering. Once the roof goes on, it, the heater is very good. Uh, there's not much storage in the Mini. Uh, most Minis don't have storage, to be honest with you. They are a sort of a lifestyle car. There is fast ones. You do have a sport mode in this. There's the green mode, mid, sport. This all used to light up in colors. You see what I mean by they're kind of getting rid of some of the things that made them interesting. So. This used to all light up, it, like if I went into green mode before, I'd get sport would be red, then mid would be, I don't know, whatever color, and green was always green, you know? This would all light up in green, and that's all, do green stuff here. It's just, I get it. Car companies have very limited budgets at the moment, and it's quite tough for someone like Mini, or indeed BMW, its parent company, to, um, to make money these days, they have to cut, every sort of corner they possibly can on pretty much everything and that's that's unfortunate for the consumer because the consumer is starting to miss out on little little things that's only little things and i have to admit it's not everything in a car that's gone budget most of the car the vast majority of the car is very high quality and it's very nice but you will notice because of the bit that connects the roof to the back of the car has been lightened to make it a convertible you might notice a lot of camera shake in this video uh, and that's even though that is suction padded really well to the, to the windscreen and I very rarely get any vibration in my videos you'll see video vibration in this one because these convertible cars because they have to put a lot of strengthening bars in the bottom half of the car and they have to tighten it up here onto this part but they have to keep all this kind of light it does mean a lot of vibration from the road is translated into the car you can feel it on most bumps and corners as well, feels kind of strange. Overall, I would say this Mini is a very lifestyle car. It is beautiful to drive, even on a day like today where it's a bit gray and a bit miserable. Uh, it's still lovely to convert the car and drive along and do your thing. You know, it's, it's a very nice place to be. But for the money and the money that this is pitched at, there is cars in that price range which offer probably much better value. If you're after a value proposition, you're probably not gonna see it here. If you're after something that really stands out and is very well built and feels every bit uh, a luxury convertible car, this is it. It's probably the only one you're gonna see in the market as well. But if you're after something that has better value for money, there is other cars out there, even secondhand ones of this, that would be able to get the same kind of joy without having to break the bank. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you've hit the subscribe button. 
I need the subscribers, guys. We need the subscribers. I'm very hungry for the subscribers these days. Uh, all will resume back to normal in winter time. I'm hoping I will get to back to much more regular updates and much more regular uh, everything. Keep in touch, bobflavin.com if you want to buy any of the merch. Uh, we'll be doing some updates and I'm going to be back to nextgear.com website as well to accompany this uh, YouTube channel. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Check us out on Patreon and all the usual platforms. You Patreon guys are the best, I have to say. Thanks for watching and until the next time, I'll see you on the far side.